What is up, guys? This is The Function. You're here with Elliot and Colin, and we're doing this podcast because we feel like it. <laughs> that, that's really it. We just have no idea really what the purpose of this is, but we just figured we'd have fun doing this and hanging out since the last thing the podcasting world needs is two more white guys. Yeah, I mean, it's just like two guys talking, but I guess that's like all podcasts. You know, yeah. Like every podcast is just people talking. It really is just, yeah. But why can't we do that? I mean, no. it's kind of shocking that podcasting has gotten like as big as it has just because, um, you know, you're just listening to other people have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, it, I guess it's the fact that the pandemic has allowed people to get even more bored than they were before. Yeah, true. So. <laughs> I guess that's really what... Yeah, podcasts like fucking Call Her Daddy, you know, popped off. Well, they just all popped off, like, since March. Podcasts in general are just so up, so... Um, I guess if we do have a theme for this podcast, it's being even more meta, where we talk about podcasts that talk about podcasts. Yeah, we're podcast about podcasts. The podcast podcast. Welcome back to the podcast podcast. Oh... <laughs> uh, so how would you feel about that new Call of Duty episode? <laughs> I still no, still I don't yeah, yeah I, I, watch I still don't even either. know what it's about. Yeah, uh, me neither. Uh, I heard it was popular with women. Uh, I did hear that too, but no. uh, I know um, the I, other girls out now. I do know that. I also know that we're really late to talk about this. Yeah, uh, I guess so. I was really late to learn about it. Well, I was just surprised on what it was and never really knew because I was like, wait girls like barstool now i was like yeah. so, i was like this doesn't seem like a i didn't realize how huge barstool was like every time i learn about how big barstool is i'm like holy fuck they're that big yeah barstool got bought for i probably between 350 and 500 mil Jesus. uh in about february <laughs> day, uh, day trader took home a bag well they already had an investment before but he really is secure in the bag and probably could have gotten more money if he waited out mm -hmm. but the thing that's really funny is they got bought by a public company so the thing that's really funny about that is there's so many regulations that go into that so he got fined on the first day they were bought because he was like <laughs> everyone buy our stock and they were like you can't do that and then that's he got fined. Hilarious. yeah no it was really funny but um yeah so that's that's that yeah no i just i keep seeing stuff it's like um it's like they own i don't remember how many it was it was like a ridiculous amount of podcasts like they just buy podcasts because they do well on ad reads and they can sell merch off of it and their merch is really where they make all their money yeah oh uh, and then also i think they i want to say they own old row okay i didn't know if it was tfm or old row that they own but yeah yeah it's they definitely own old row. row i think yeah because who owns tfm well, TFM was, they sold to somebody, I think, but they kind of fell off. Because mm -hmm. TFM... Yeah, they're, they're definitely falling TFM off. is kind of gone. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, and Old Row has blown up a lot. But was Old Row's own thing before they got bought bar, by Barstool? Or was Barstool... No, Old, Old Row was its own thing. Uh, and to me, when Old Row first came out, they were just a direct ripoff of TFM. Yeah. So, because I was like, oh, TFM's actually doing an interesting thing. And yeah. this was like back in fucking... 2013 yeah, right. was whenever I remember first hearing about TFM, you know, freshman in high school. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then they kind of just fucking died and Old Row was still going. Yeah. Yeah, I guess now with Barstool backing, um, it's a lot easier. Well, the thing that I think they got bought because they're bought, they're owned by a gambling company. Old Row? No, Barstool. Barstool, oh. And they know that all of their fans on Barstool love to fucking blow money and yeah. bet money. So they were like, oh, this makes sense as an acquisition because they're going to just get people to spend all their money and bet on their platform as mm. opposed to as sports gambling it becomes more legal. Ah, I, okay. I always assumed that they got bought by um, like a media company. No, Penn Gaming is who bought them. Penn Gaming. Nice. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a, uh, what is it? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, the fucking, uh, I don't know. I have media, no idea. What media. 
media conglomerate. Disney? Disney, sure. Why not? Oh, we'll go with Disney. Okay. That yeah, was what I was thinking of. That works. Sure, why not? Uh, but, yeah, I mean, they did that. Uh, that's why, like, he tweets every day. Fucking buy pen stock with, like, the rest of the tweet oh. being a disclaimer saying, <laughs> I am not a financial advisor. Do not take any advice from me. <laughs> I uh, know why I did that. Yeah, that's why he does that, because so, he gets fined probably every time he does that. But, that's uh, hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, one thing that's really interesting, though, is, uh, so for those of you who don't know, but most of you probably will, because most of our first listeners on this first episode probably know us, so, um, did you hear that, uh, somebody two years above us at St. Aloysius is a porn star now? No, who? Uh, I'm not gonna say her name, but, uh, oh, yeah, I'll tell I you call, later, yeah, but her not, name not is awesome. Indica Flowers, is, like, the name she goes by. Is this a person that, um, we, that I would have remembered? Maybe, but you see her at Zippy's all the time. Almost every time I'm either with you or other friends at Zippy's, she, I've seen her there so many times. Uh, and it was very entertaining. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, is it, is oh, it your uh, mom? Uh, wait, what? Is it your mom? It's not my mom. Ah, that was okay, a okay. good yeah, guess, but, sure. uh, hold up. Oh. I'll pull it up. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a few people I could I could think of that but, that might have, you know. Yep. Uh, so. <laughs> mm. All right. Don't know if wow. you recognize her at all. No, but, not uh, at all. She had a younger brother who was the year below us. I don't know if that helps. Mm. It doesn't, but uh, nice. That's hilarious. But it was really funny just like, you know, scrolling through Pornhub. Yeah. And then just seeing a recommended video. Oh, I don't know if you... Nope. No idea. <laughs> the, the name. It's close. I don't know if you... Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, nothing like scrolling and then being like, oh, that'd be mm. funny. That looks familiar. And then double checking it on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, that's the same person I thought this was. That's hilarious. And then further seeing it with like A-listers, working with A-listers. That was the really funny thing. It's just like, this is weird seeing somebody you know in school with growing up. I wonder... I wonder if she's the most successful person we've ever met, you know? Like, uh, what, if, what if the most successful person we know is just a porn star? And that, like, we don't know. That would be interesting. <laughs> I know it's definitely not out of uh, Baton Rouge, because Stormy yeah. Daniels is from Baton Rouge. Did not know so that. So, she went to Woodlawn. Oh. Uh, but she's also, like, probably almost 60, so yeah. she's a lot That's older. Prime, yeah. Yeah. I just mean, like, of all the, of all the people we know that are, like relatively famous i wonder if she's like the most it famous. might be the most the, i mean or the, compared, i mean um, that's not like clyde or like okay that's true i would say the yeah i'd say clyde is probably the closest connection because yeah. we don't we don't really know her yeah and then we that's true i mean we went to school with clyde but we, we yeah. didn't really talk to clyde that much yeah. which but yeah. shout out clyde congrats yeah. on getting <laughs> drafted number one pick or first round pick um fucking months ago yeah. in april it's almost july now but, but, uh, but shit. still congrats. Um, yeah, that's really funny. Um, did you hear that? Um, by the way, even though we don't have a theme, you're going to hear rap music talk about a ridiculous mountain. This, so that's kind of our theme, but we're not allowing us to have a theme. Yeah. So we can technically talk about anything. It's hip hop, hip hop time. Yeah. Hip hop uh, segment. So did you hear that? Um, uh, Jack Harlow shouted out Joe Burrow on the, uh, what's poppin'? No, I next? listened to it twice and but it, I never heard it, you know? Like, I played it twice and didn't listen to a single second of it. It's, until Lil Wayne came in and I was like, oh, Lil Wayne's in this song. Yeah, but no, like, Lil Wayne went hard. I just wasn't paying attention But everyone that. else also went hard. That remix was just so good. It's, uh, I got five chicks in New York, that means one in each borough. I'm in the pocket like borough. Oh! So hard. Okay, uh, I did hear that. And I didn't know what he meant. <laughs> so, um, speaking of that, we probably need to go take that sign on Borough Road soon. Yeah. Please don't arrest us. We're not doing that. We're not actually doing that if you're listening, but you know. Yeah. Uh, um, no, uh, I, yeah, I didn't hear that at all. I just I just listened to the song and I was like, I don't know what that means. I'm going to go ahead and just keep going. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't take that take that time. Yeah. That would be illegal. But, uh, the, the remix was interesting because he, he mentioned he got a check from New Balance, so part of me mm -hmm. thinks New Balance paid for that whole fucking song because those features are not ex are not cheap uh 
Oh yeah, that's possible. For those of you who don't know, it's uh, Tory Lanez, the baby, and Lil Wayne. And first, the baby makes sense. Jetson made made the beat, so that makes yeah. sense. But uh, he and then Tory Lanez kind of blowing up right now. He's kind of gone off since he made his first project or the second project. It was uh, really bad. But uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I thought it was. I feel like his fame. He was like very famous, like before. A long time ago, yeah. Okay, well, I take that back, because even... He just had... He was just finally mainstream, and he dropped a garbage project, but I have no hate for Tory Lanez. I love Tory Lanez. Uh, he was, like, dropping fire mixtapes, mm. and then went debut, and it kind of, like, changed a lot of the sound. He did, and then he had a beef with Drake, because Drake was like... You're stealing my sound, You're ripping my sound up, which... There are a lot of people that do that, and I don't care. Yeah, they're just similar artists. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm like, sorry that you're gigantic. Yeah, it's it, yeah. It's hard if you're like I define most of the genre and how it is now. Everyone's copying me. Yeah, it's just yeah. Like, look at Young Thug, Lil Baby, and Gunna. You know, I you I know? did see even take Gunna out of that. Young Thug and Lil Baby are the same artist. Uh, you, you can definitely argue that. Uh, one thing yeah, I think yeah. that people, is people will have their feelings hurt by that opinion, but like you know, yeah, Lil, Lil Baby encapsulates. Entirely one part of Young Thug's, you know, like persona, you know, not persona, but like his music sounds exactly like some of Young Thug's music. Yeah, All well, I mean, his... I think Gunna does more. Yeah, I enjoy listening to Little Baby more. Little Baby has a lot more variety. Gunna, almost everything sounds the same. Um, which I saw something that it's just like, shouts out to uh, Young Thug for this, but he's like, that's the worst business decision ever. Is he was just like. <laughs> All right, little baby, I'll give you a bunch of money to get out of the hood and start rapping, which is cool, but he didn't sign him. So that was just giving money away, yeah. one. Two, he signed Gunna, but takes no money. Wait, what? Young Thugs, I saw something that Young Thugs signed Gunna. I mean, it could be wrong, but it was like, yeah, Young Thugs signed Gunna to his record label, but doesn't take any money from Gunna. That's which crazy. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> At that mm. point, that's just an expensive and tedious legal work involved cosine yeah well, hmm weird he just maybe he just i don't know just likes hanging out with him <laughs> and wants to legally be obligated to it i mean i guess i mean they were in dave together <laughs> well yeah maybe he just like is in love with him he's just like no gonna you can come on my, my label and like please god please, please i no, won't I take, any, take any money i won't take any money from yeah, you. yeah I mean, you get all the benefits and you don't have to pay it you don't have to pay a dime it's like that sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I would do it if I was gonna, I guess, you know? Feels like uh couldn't hurt. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think... Young Thug, what, maybe he was trying to be like, oh, maybe like in the future he'll stay. Like, maybe he'll, he'll stay and like, after that contract's up, and then we'll get... Some, I mean, I don't know. That doesn't sound know. right. Yeah, it sounds like but, a horrible plan. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he gets to, like, he signed him, but he, like, gets to keep all his masters. I mean, I don't know. This is, this is a, uh, this is some more research, and then to completely steal a joke, this is a, uh, Jamie, look this up. Uh, <laughs> but. Jamie. So, oh. with, with that, did you see the, uh, did you see that Walmart is directly ripping off rapper chains and selling them? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Wait, like, like, like the Six Nine Shark thing, and like. Uh, well, one thing that was really funny that I saw is the first time I saw it was it was TikTok, mm -hmm. uh, where it's little baby was with some other artist that's like coming up right now, and you see he's just like, they're both smoking blunts just in the studio, and he just takes his chain off and puts it around him, and it's like a big chain, and then you just see it cuts to, and it's like I forget the song, but it's like the bass boosted cringy version and it just shows that it's selling for $40 at Walmart <laughs> <laughs> and it's the exact same chain and he's just like damn it Walmart um, that's hilarious but they did that for that uh, Kodak Black had had the Sniper Gang one and then there was uh, 21 Savage's manager was like something about either clout or just like spending money on chains and then it just he also posted the fact that Walmart posted the fucking Slaughter Gang chain with like the the uh the ski mask <laughs> but uh yeah it was do they uh, do they have to like like sign something for that you know 
Is I, there like, I don't... There's I, some sort of copyright on chains? I don't know. I mean, it's if it's not a logo, I think they're fine. Because it's kind of like... You remember whenever we... You remember when we did that tie company thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How we, as long as it wasn't a logo, we could kind of just like use something because it's a design and it's hmm. not a logo. Yeah. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Feels, I don't know. It feels a little scummy, I guess. Uh, it's the like slot, or identity. the, uh, I mean, the sniper gang one definitely, they could, they could be sued for it because that's like Kodak Black has like a clothing line around it and mm -hmm. that's his label. But also, that would mean Kodak Black, who is currently in jail, would have to sue Walmart. And he's right. got money, but I don't think he has suing Walmart levels of money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Walmart's make it easy for you to sue. Walmart would, I mean, well, I don't know. Tracy Morgan did it, but. Really? Oh, did you not hear about this? No. Tracy Morgan got in a really bad car wreck with a Walmart 18-wheeler. Oh, yes. That, like, left him. He was in, like, terrible condition. He had to, like, yeah. almost relearn how to walk. Yeah, okay, I do remember that. But he, I think he got, like. He did, I want to say he got, like, at least $10 million, oh which was God. so much. And I think as part of the meme settlement, he could have just been joking about this. I don't know if it's actually true, but I think he can get driven around by any Walmart truck uh, <laughs> that he wants, uh, which would be great that's, if that's amazing. true. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know how much you'd want to do that. Yeah. I feel like Walmart probably just settles anything under, like, ten grand, and then Anything, anything that's not a class action, they probably... Yeah. They're just, well, like... Like, here's some, like... Which he has, like... Tracy Morgan has the worst luck ever. Why? Because I remember I saw something on stupid Snapchat Explorer page, but it was, uh... He was in either, like, a really hot, nice... I think it was Bugatti. Oh, I think I it was Bugatti? Bugatti. Yeah, and, Bugatti. And, like, how some, like, 22-year-old girl yeah. just fucking rammed into and just yeah. totaled the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That, that would be sucks. so disappointing. Yes, I can walk again, and now I can drive again. Yeah. Let me take this Bugatti out, and then just not get far and oh, have man. fucking totaled. Um, yeah, it was. I was watching what I don't know. It was like, it's like the comedian in the car is getting coffee or whatever. Um, and they were talking about that, <laughs> and like, it's like he's like dressed to the nines, and uh, and driving his Bugatti. Jerry or no, uh, okay. Trace Morgan. Um, is driving his Bugatti around. And then just gets, he's like, um, like, I forgot what the story was, but basically he was like driving to the studio or wherever it was, and then it just didn't show up, it didn't text anybody or something like that. Um, and then they're just like, yeah, I crashed my Bugatti. <laughs> like, I got ran into it or whatever. Nice. Yeah. So that was like during filming? I don't know or, what it was. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, did you see Eric Andre drop the... A new uh, special. I watched the beginning of it. Did Not you, good. Did you watch it? No. It's just so stupid. I mean, it's that's his humor, yeah. and I love Eric Andre, but I don't think stand-up comedy is his thing. I think his niche that he just absolutely dominates is the uh, put me interacting with real people and make them really uncomfortable. Yeah. But it's really funny. He should have done like like a what is it called? Like a variety show kind of thing. Like, like, um... Like more of a show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like his show. He could have just done his show live. Like a live show. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he could. Like just... what Steve-O did. I, you know? What did Steve-O do? I have no it's Just crazy stunts and shit. Like, with, he'd bring the audience up and, like, do crazy stuff. Um, That's a sign. Waivers on waivers, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, he was talking about, um, how he had some kid hospitalized or whatever <laughs> they got sued <laughs> it's so fucking funny he had so much crazy shit he did on the shows yeah he's just like oh okay i need a volunteer and then he gets on stage and then he's just like all right i need you to rip eight of these whippets <laughs> and then roll around on burning coal <laughs> <laughs> no it was he literally had one i don't even remember where where this was where i'd seen this from but um he had one uh instance the, the time that he the kid sued him uh <laughs> he 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 told him to attack or to like tackle him on stage or something like that. <laughs> or, or I don't remember what the context was, but it was something like that. And then the security came. Oh, he told them that he's gonna like run from security or something like that. So he gets on stage, he's like running away from security. Security grabs him and like throws him into the ground, and he like broke his neck or back or something like that. <laughs> it's terrible. And, yeah, it was awful. <laughs> and and Steven was like laughing the whole time. He's like, oh Jesus, this might be bad. And uh. And then he sued him after that. Damn. Yeah. So. That, that was like, that, 
kind of reminds me, I want to say it was, it might have been Tom Segura, but I don't remember who it was, but it was their opener who was doing a, like they were at the merch table and they just decided that instead of going in backstage to like, or to like go around and go backstage, it was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go jump up on the stage and go through backstage that way. <laughs> Security tackled him so hard because they were like, dude, what are you Wait, doing? Wait, who was this? This was, I don't know if this actually was, I think I just heard about it on your mom's house. Mm. I don't know if it actually was Segura, mm. but he was talking about how he got... He was talking about how he gets stopped by security sometimes. And he's like, dude, I'm the guy. <laughs> and he's like, let alone my opener just gets absolutely tackled by security because they don't That's hilarious. They don't know who they are. They kind of just work there. Yeah, I mean, you have to be you have to be kind of aware that, um, you know. You would think that you would familiarize yourself with who's going to be performing there right. before they get there. Yeah. Because that's kind of like part of your job. Yeah, kind of your job, yeah. It's like, otherwise you're just tackling people. <laughs> well, it's that, and it's just like, that sounds like that happens more often than I realized. What? Of just artists and just celebrities that are doing shows and venues that just, unless they're ridiculous, unless they're like Drake, or they're like Taylor Swift. Or actually, I don't even know. I feel like there are a lot of people who might stop Taylor Swift, but, uh. Why? Well, I mean, they're like, what are you doing back here? Oh. And they're like, this is my show. It's the reason oh, I, I don't would... think Taylor Swift would... I don't think anybody's going to stop Taylor Swift. I guess you're right. Because she, she pretty is... much everyone is like, she's oh, super. That's, that's Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. Take it back. I was going to say they know her because they're like, why is this random person wearing the most exotic outfit about <laughs> walking back here? And it's like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Probably because it's... It's not like just a rapper in jeans, and or like even a comedian in literal just jeans and a yeah. t-shirt. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I feel like that happens more often than not. Yeah. Or not more often than not, but more often than I initially thought. Yeah. I, I guess, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, um, hey, I'm just here to, I'm just here to tackle people on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I see someone on stage, I'm gonna fucking tackle them. I don't care who it is, you know? If I was security, I would, I would make a point of, of tackling the guests as much as possible. Or, I mean, like, the uh, like performers, you know? Just kind of... The performers? Straight. Oh, that's different. That's yeah. like asking to get fired in suit. Oh, well, you know, just kind of... Just a little bit of a... a Kerfuffle? No, no. Um, just kind of put, put them in their place, you know? It's like, can I get... Let it go to your head, what so they're, I'm what to they're... the shit out of you, because I don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm just going to tangle the shit out of you because we, yeah, all right. Give me a little ego uh, downgrade. I guess. Yeah. It's it's really for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I guess. Oh. Um, Saw so, trolls beat out uh, Law Baby. Law Baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, would it be Law Baby? Would it be Lil? No, Lil not at all. <laughs> Bebe Pequeño or, or, or some shit like that. I was like, that's the baby. Which, um, but, uh, yeah. I did, and I was surprised. Yeah. Um, me too? <laughs> Dude, you saw his response? He no. was, like, so hyped. Like, there was, like, spraying champagne everywhere. Oh, I think I did see that, but... Oh, he, he was so excited. He, like, wrote this whole long, like, page, like, word wall about, he's like, yeah, like, y'all thought I wouldn't be number one, and, like... You know, whatever, and, uh... I don't get why, I mean, I could be wrong, I probably need to listen to it again, but... Why did that song go number one and not Goomba? I don't know, I like Goomba more. Uh, because of Nicki Minaj. That's why. 100%. I guess, I guess she finally learned her thing. Did you see that she's getting so much hate because she was like, Travis Scott got number one because he did all those merch bundles with Astro World. <laughs> and then she, apparently, apparently they did merch bundles for trolls, and, like, that's part go. of how it... it how it went number one easy so we we love when celebrities are hypocritical that's like that's the she, best she's it's, grown it's catching me. <laughs> she really has grown she's engaged and or married to a sex vendor oh yeah wow she really upgraded her man yeah from uh all the people she dated yeah and pretty much anyone else yeah yeah okay Just well. any, anyone who's not a sex vendor yeah so <laughs> all all people 
under sex or above sex so offender. So if you want to think that you have a chance, not with Nicki Minaj. I mean, unless you are a sex offender, and then maybe that's just what she's into. It could be. Um, but if you want, if you feel like you don't have a chance with most girls, know that Nicki Minaj, of all people, is engaged to a sex <laughs> offender. <laughs> Look, if they break up, you know, it seems like she keeps going down. You know, so she's, she's probably like, really glad to show that it's just like. When you look on that map, it's just like they're of course cluttered or like the the cluster of all the red dots that show where sex offenders are. People are just like wondering why the fuck is this random dot in the Hollywood Hills or some <laughs> shit like that. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of dots in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> there, there probably should be a lot of dots oh, in the Hollywood Hills, but uh, well, I don't know about the Hollywood Hills, but definitely they're definitely rich people. That there yeah. should be more dots in yeah. rich people with uh. Anyway, yeah, um, but I didn't even hear, did Lil Baby drop an album, or was it just like... He dropped a song, and I think it had to do with Black Lives Matter movement, oh. and like, all of that, and oh, it was like, I super political, and it was just like, oh, the this, is, picture. A, that was this is a deep song, It was, and then it's just... Oh, and it's trolls, or whatever. <laughs> trolls by 6 9 <laughs> oh, beat it out, dude, that's tough. Yeah, it is, especially because I think that what it, well... I don't know. Lil Baby's album is doing very well. Yeah, I've right heard, now. So heard. I feel like AOT. AOT. Yeah, I've heard that. A AOT is you, that. People keep telling me it's AOT. Um. No, nobody says AOT. I was about okay. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was about to say. I was like, hmm. I don't know about that. I should just let you believe that. <laughs> but uh, like you let the uh, your ridiculous inside joke. Mm-hmm. If you if you want to get back to this and explain uh. Yeah, yeah, basically. The inside joke about inside joke, or, like, the, uh, the Kane story. Yeah, right. Yeah, so basically we had, um, we had gone to Kane's, um, without one of our friends, who we, who we always went to Kane's with, every single time, and every time we'd go to Kane's, uh, generally, we, we'd kind of, like, say something funny, and then we'd keep saying it, like, the rest of the night, that's just kind of how it always would happen, um, and so this time we were like, Oh man, our friend is not here, so like we gotta think of something really funny to like make him sad, like make him jealous that he wasn't there. But we couldn't think of it the entire time, and so we we're like, oh, maybe we just make the like the inside joke that we made up be that uh, we made up a really funny inside joke at Kane's. So it was like kind of meta. But then as we sat there. We started talking, we're like, wouldn't it be funny if we just made up, like, a, a slang word that we used all the time, and use it around him, um, without him, like, knowing? And, uh, we're like, oh, that's even better. And then we're like, well, let's use the first joke as our red herring, so that we'll tell him that, you know, that's like the inside joke is that, you know, we, we have the funny inside joke with Keynes, when we really don't. But then, he'll be thrown off by that, and not pick up that we're using this strange word in everyday uh, like, you know, speech or whatever. Um, has he, has he no, fallen for he has it yet? not, no. He has not found out or picked it up yet. But we have been so slow. So the word and is goose. Yeah, okay. The word is goose. So we started using goose as kind of a replacement for, like, cool. So we're like, it's pretty goose. Uh, it's pretty goose thing, um, you know? Playing Valorant is pretty yeah. goose right now. Yeah, it's a like goose game, you know, whatever. Um, and so... Not, not Goose Game. Not, like, the Goose Game. You know, like, good. Anyway, and so, we've been using it, like, pretty intermittently for the past several months. This probably started in November, and, uh, he still hasn't, like, caught on, but we're, we're hoping soon. Because we've been using it, like, pretty aggressively, uh, aggressively recently. Like, it's been, like, I'm like, yeah, that was Goose, and, like, he won't say anything. Like, he just kind of thinks it's normal, I guess, or he just... Maybe just accepts that he doesn't get it or something. So anyway, it's a very long con um, that really hasn't played a pay, played out, paid off, whatever. Yeah, paid off. I think is the, the yeah. correct word because now it's a long con, but yeah, Her y'all panned out. There we okay, go. Okay, panned out. That's uh, that's the word. But one day, you know. Yeah. I'll be thirty four and I'll be like, <laughs> that's pretty goose. But what does goose mean? Be like. <laughs> It'll be like fucking tag the movie where y'all are still playing in the, <laughs> into your thirties and forties, and there's, and he's like Jeremy Rayner. He's just so good at it, or I guess he hasn't caught on. Would mean he's committed to not asking about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. 
So, so that's that's the long con, the goose con, if you will, and I will. So, taking it back, um, you said uh, Aoti. Which oh yeah, Aoti, little, little baby's album. Which, we we are gonna use that now. Okay. Aoti for all you listeners out there, just start saying Aoti. Uh, what do I you mean even... album of the year? In case you yeah. had a- R slash whoosh that one. <laughs> um, I uh, I still haven't listened to it. I, uh, I don't even, you know. I don't have anything to say about it, but there's, I've heard it's good. <laughs> there's a song that Connor and I listen to a ton that's uh, Moneybag Yo, Lil Baby, and I think Take Heath produced it, but that was pretty hard. The uh, Lil Baby got a song, it's pretty, pretty hard too, but like, that one and Whoa are the only mm. songs I, I know from that, mm. uh, but trying to think what would your what would your AOD for right now now that we're about halfway through the year 2020 AOD so far um I'm trying to think what happens that drop this year I don't know this year is fucking crazy year. yeah it has been uh do we drop an album right yeah and that um, one was the first time he ever mixed things up in his career I, I didn't listen to it no I they did, did listen to it it was it's like it was the number one song until trolls dethroned it <laughs> no the album I mean oh well I mean rockstar is from that album yeah um, I don't think I listened to the, to the entire album. Um, mm. it, was, it was decent. I don't remember what has dropped. Yeah, I actually really don't remember what has dropped. Uh, We've had... Oh, I know what mine is. Mine We've is still... Gunna? Mine is still Bad Bunny's album. I, Bad I Bunny's think I'll listen to that with you. Is still my favorite album for album of the year. It was... Didn't think it would be, but he just brought absolute heat... And then collabed with a bunch of other uh, reggaeton artists that he uh, he's been rumored to have collabed with and hadn't yet. So mm. it's like, oh shit, like the one with uh, Anwell that was huge. Also, it was just like kind of a Memphis trap beat on some with some Spanish boys rapping over it. So that was pretty solid. But uh, all right. Um. Oh, what else dropped? Young Thug's so much fun. Was that this year? No, that was last year. Was it really? I'm. Yeah, that was last year. It just still goes hard. Yeah. Um. Um. Man. What else did drop? I'm actually... Not a lot. I feel like this year has been so short. Like, it's been so long, but it's been so short. There have been a lot of uh, artists that did put off. Don Tolliver? Uh, he did drop. I still need to re-listen to his album again. Uh, I like two songs off of Wanna. I listened to it yesterday, and it was as you would expect any Gunna project to be. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude, Nav. Nav, yes. Nav, Nav dropped. dropped. Uh, oh, Dark Lane, Dark Lane demos. Yeah. But that was a tape. I mean, that yeah, wasn't really an album. If, if Drake's going to drop some fire, it's going to be uh, actual fire. Yeah. Um, then Pops, no. No, I think Pops won't drop. To. Meet the Woo, part two. And then he's going to drop this other, uh, let's see. Man. Uh, not, I guess not too much impressive has happened this year. Uh, Future right. dropped an album. Oh, fucking Uzi. Uzi, like, dominated oh, yeah. the beginning of the year with right. uh, EA and uh, Love vs. The World 2. Yeah, which is good. Those are solid. Uh, was was Roddy Rich's album this year? No, that was 2019. Okay. That's what I thought. It's just charting well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jesus Christ, Beer Bongs and Bentleys is still in the top 25. That is insane. Circles is still in, like, the top 10 or top 15 on the Billboard 100. Wow. Yeah, it is been up there forever because hollywood's bleeding dropped and what like wasn't it like last fall uh or the end of the summer last year no yeah it's like the, it's like last july yeah end of the summer i believe uh, i think yeah because it was it was late um and yeah because i remember it was after after lost boy so it was probably like fall probably fall area which did you see what uh post malone did Mm-mm. so he, I guess I can't judge him because it's him, but uh, you would think that somebody who's made it the way he is wouldn't be, I guess, as self-conscious. Because I feel like he's a very, he's genuinely, other than like Charlemagne, uh, I oh. don't know many people who don't like him. So And he was like, that's why I get face tats, because I feel like I'm ugly. Aww. And then, which I was like, damn. damn. Poor guy. But then, did you see he shaved his head? I did see that. Okay, and I, I he got a giant about. skull tat. Didn't see the skull uh, tat. It was yeah. It was a he shaved his head and got a giant skull tattooed on the 
on the like back, I think it's the right side of his head. It is, that's awful. I was like, yeah, that's uh, that's big. Yeah, that's, but I, that's I guess awful looking, I guess your but... hair can technically cover it up. I don't know. Does it? I think so. I think, cause I think I saw like when Lil Peep shaved his head, it was he had tats that was like on the side of his head, mm. and it just like kind of grew back out over it. But gotcha. I mean. I was like, that's a very interesting choice, yeah. but you do you, because you're doing very well right yeah, now. Post Malone, you literally dropped anything, and all of America's like, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, which is so insane. I did not expect him to blow up as much and as quickly as he did. Yeah. I could use I could use some new Bryson Tiller. Yeah, a uh, man graduated high school today. Or in, Bryson Tiller? Uh, yeah, I mean, he got his high school diploma. He didn't graduate high school. Yeah, man's like, like 26. Man's got a child and a family. Well, you can have a child and a family in high school. It's just probably one of the dumbest decisions yeah, you could ever make. I guess. Um, okay, well, hey, congrats, Bryson. Didn't he drop... Um, he dropped a song. No, Trap Soul uh, in high school? Or, like, right out of high school? I mean, I think he was like... Or he was like 22, I think. Yeah, but that so was also no. in 2015. Yeah. Bryson, we want more music. Yeah. I know you've dropped an album since then, which I still enjoy. It's not as heater. Yeah, as... that was kind of medium on it. I mean, it was good. I did see them live, so it's kind of biased a lot of the songs. And uh, Yeah. But it, it's still like, dude, you're so good. But he really kind of just got the bag and dipped. Yeah. I I was I was really so, I was so excited. I remember that, that dropped like on our senior trip. That was huge. Um, that was still one of the top... That was probably top three drop days since yeah. I've been paying attention to music. Um, it was like Drop Top Wop with Gucci Mane and uh, uh, and Metro Boom and dropped that day. Bryson Tiller dropped that day. g Easy dropped a single or two or something? Uh, Lil Yachty dropped uh, oh, yeah. the King of the Teens album that yeah. was like such was like, a mess. Yeah. Uh, I still listen to probably like four, three songs from that album, but it's uh, Dirty Mouth is Heat, but... Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah that that album was pop garbage, was depressed, because I was like, oh man, I just want to trap soul two, two. Yeah. yeah, literally, but but that wasn't that was three years ago, yeah, over three years ago. Yeah, it's time. The, I mean, he dropped a single like two months ago on SoundCloud. It wasn't even on, it wasn't even on streaming services. But it's uh, it's weird how many artists that like we want to drop uh don't drop all the time and uh and the people that i'm like i don't really care are like here's all my music here yeah it's uh but yeah. maybe that's why i want to drop because like you know i haven't heard anything new yeah i mean that's that's the whole appeal with frank ocean is oh yeah i guess it makes sense. I, I if he dropped more regularly and was more in the public eye i feel like he would not be as coveted as he is but the fact that he's dropped a mixtape and two albums or I guess three with, uh, fucking what's the visual one? Uh, the one with the stairs. I can't think of the name of it. It's uh, endless. I, I, is it endless? I'm an idiot. I should know this. Uh, which have you heard endless? No, I haven't even heard like blonde or, or the other one. Oh, like, you're gonna get so ones. much hate from that. Uh, it is endless. Blonde is really good. I like blonde over Channel Orange, if I'm being honest. But uh, oh yeah, no, I have listened to Channel Orange. Oh, uh, endless is just uh. Of, it's a visual album and he's um, he builds a set of stairs that's the whole it's just a video of him building a set of stairs with his album played wow <laughs> over it <laughs> that's the visual album uh, so, like like how big are stairs oh and he's like in a wa warehouse and it's like a spiral staircase I think it's spiral staircase that goes up to like a second story oh, uh, it's like it's like a real set of stairs yeah real real set of stairs uh I still wish, I think it, I forget the name of the song, but he's got a song with Sampha on there that's so good. But I don't feel like having to skip through the 50 minute video <laughs> just to find it, even though I think it's like one of the earlier ones. But, um, Is it on YouTube? It's on Apple Music now. Okay. Uh, it wasn't. It was like endless.com. So like random people on Tumblr found it and mm. then it blew up. Uh, that's kind of a cool way to drop that. Yeah, but you also have to rely on the fact that like people find it. Right. Because I don't think he, like, he, for the longest time, only had a Tumblr, mm -hmm. which is, like, the most Frank Ocean thing to do. Uh, yeah, definitely. Plus, um, it's, like, I don't know. That's that. I was about to just say exactly what you said. <laughs> but uh, he's still not the longest waiting to drop. 
Who? Oh. Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. Since I mean, he dropped a single this year on TD yeah. Appreciation Week, but uh, 2016. Wow. That's yeah. That's the last time he dropped. So. Um, I loved when uh, Punch dropped a song, and everyone everyone found out who Punch was, and they're like, "Dude, this this new guy Punch is pretty sick," and he's like, "Hey, I've I've been like." CEO of this thing for like forever. Yeah, I've been I've been here since TDE started. Yeah, like, that was hilarious. I just I was like, why does it sound so familiar? I was like, I was like, is this the same punch I'm thinking of? I was like, oh, it is. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I didn't know who he was um, until after that, and I was like, oh, it's this guy. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. he grabbed the. But um, you saw him teasing the uh, the Black Friday album. Yes, I did. Dude. You sent me that, and that got me so depressed. Not as depressed as our friend Bryant, though. I think... That is true. I think teasing that man, which he still believes is coming, uh, <laughs> that's that's doing too much. But. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I, I hope it happens, you know. I just don't know if it will. Yeah. So J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar is the, uh, is the album. For those who aren't aware. Yeah. Um, but uh, do you want to... Wrap it up? Yeah. Uh, yup. Yup. Uh, so I'm gonna totally rip off Andy Frisilla. I love Andy Frisilla with this, but uh, for his podcast Real AF, he's got this thing called the fee, and we would really appreciate if everyone paid the fee. The fee is since we aren't promoting this with money, to like this episode, uh, review it, and share it. So we'd really appreciate to keep keep this going. If you uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, to pay the fee and do the following so uh, with that we will see you next time thanks boys and girls